kings of a prehistoric planet. Part 2 The Jurassic period is known for its rich and diverse wildlife, especially dinosaurs. During this period, the dominant animals can be divided into several groups, dinosaurs, Tyrannosaurs. Although Tyrannosaurs are best known from the later Cretaceous, their ancestors, such as Prognathodon and Guanlong, began to appear in the Jurassic. Ceratosaurs. Medium-sized predatory dinosaurs with characteristic horns and crests. Allosaurus. One of the largest predators of the Jurassic period, reaching up to 33 feet in length. Diplodocus Giant herbivorous dinosaurs with long necks and tails that could reach lengths of up to 100 feet. Stegosaurs are known for their back plates and tail spines, which were used for defense. Brachiosaurus One of the most famous groups of long-necked herbivorous dinosaurs, distinguished by their nostrils located on the top of their heads. Sea creatures. Plesiosaurus. Long-necked marine reptiles with flippers that hunted fish and shellfish. Ichthyosaurus. Marine reptiles that resembled the body shape of modern dolphins, with large eyes and sharp teeth. Mosasaurus. Although they became more common during the Cretaceous, their ancestors also existed during the Jurassic and were formidable predators of marine ecosystems. Pterosaurs The first group of vertebrates to master flight. Among them were both small and large species, such as Rampharynchus and Pterodactyls. Fish The seas of the Jurassic period contained many species of fish, from small bony fish to large cartilaginous fish such as sharks, mammals. Although they were small and did not dominate ecosystems, early mammals such as Morganicudens existed during the Jurassic period. Amphibians and Reptiles Various species of frogs, salamanders, and other amphibians also inhabited land and water bodies and small reptiles occupied a variety of ecological niches. The Jurassic period was a time of active evolution and diversification of many groups of animals, which set the stage for even greater diversity in subsequent periods such as the Cretaceous. The Cretaceous period, which lasted 80 million years, was a time of significant animal diversity and evolution. This time was dominated by various groups of dinosaurs, marine and flying reptiles, and the first flowering plants. Tyrannosaurus rex was one of the most famous carnivorous dinosaurs of the Cretaceous period, reaching lengths of up to 40 feet and weighing about 9 tons. Triceratops Famous three-horned herbivorous dinosaurs that reached lengths of up to 30 feet, with large horns and a shield on the head. Velociraptors Small predatory dinosaurs, reaching lengths of up to 7 feet, characterized by high mobility and sharp claws. Hadrosaurus Also known as duck-billed dinosaurs, they were herbivores and had characteristic ridges on their heads. Ankylosaurus Heavily armored dinosaurs with bony spines and a powerful tail used for protection. Spinosaurus One of the largest predatory dinosaurs with a characteristic crest on the back and adaptations for a semi-aquatic lifestyle. Sea creatures Mosasaurus Large marine reptiles, reaching lengths of up to 60 feet were the dominant predators of the seas of the Cretaceous period. Plesiosaurus Marine reptiles with long necks and flippers that hunted fish and other marine life. Ichthyosaurus Marine reptiles that resembled modern dolphins, 
which began to disappear towards the end of the Cretaceous period. Flying Reptiles Pterosaurs, flying reptiles such as pterodactyls and pteranodons with wingspans up to 40 feet. As Darkids Some of the largest pterosaurs with wingspans of up to 32 to 40 feet. They were efficient predators and scavengers. Fish The Cretaceous seas were rich in a variety of fish species, from small bony fish to large cartilaginous fish such as sharks and rays. Mammals Early mammals continued to evolve and diversify, although they remained relatively small in size. By the end of the Cretaceous period, the first placental mammals appeared. Amphibians and reptiles Various species of frogs, salamanders, and other amphibians inhabited land and water, as well as small reptiles such as lizards and snakes. The Cretaceous period ended with a mass extinction known as the Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction event, which led to the extinction of many groups of animals, including all non-avian dinosaurs. However, this extinction freed up ecological niches, which were occupied by mammals and birds in subsequent eras. The Paleocene era immediately followed the mass extinction at the end of the Cretaceous period which wiped out the dinosaurs and many other large animals. This era is characterized by the restoration of ecosystems and the rapid development of mammals, birds, and other groups of animals. Here are some of the dominant animals of the Paleocene. Mammals Pentadonts Large herbivorous mammals such as Corypidon which reached the size of a hippopotamus and were among the largest mammals of their time. Condensers A group of carnivorous mammals, including carnivores such as Hyenodon, which were large and powerful hunters. Protungulates The early ancestors of modern ungulates, such as Phanacetus, are small in size but diverse in species and ecology. Primates Early primates such as Plesiodapus began to evolve in the Paleocene as small arboreal animals. Birds Gastornis Large flightless birds of prey, reaching up to 6.5 feet in height, known for their massive beaks and powerful legs. Early waterfowl and coastal birds Ichthyornis were the ancestors of modern gulls and albatrosses. Reptiles Various species of crocodiles, turtles, and lizards continue to evolve and adapt to new conditions. Amphibians Frogs and salamanders remained an important part of ecosystems, occupying a variety of aquatic and semi-aquatic niches. Fish Marine and freshwater ecosystems were rich in a variety of fish species that continued to evolve after the Cretaceous extinction event. The Paleocene was a time of significant change and evolutionary innovation, setting the stage for even greater diversity of animals and plants in the Eocene and subsequent eras. The Eocene epoch, which lasted 20 million years, was a time of significant change and evolution for many groups of animals. During this period, the climate was warm and humid, facilitating the development of a variety of ecosystems, from tropical forests to vast marine ecosystems. Perissodactyly This is a group of equids that includes early horses such as Hyracotherium, as well as rhinoceroses and tapirs. They were among the most diverse and successful mammals of this era. Cetaceans The appearance of early cetaceans, such as Pachycetus and Ambulocetus, which still had features characteristic of terrestrial animals, but gradually adapted to an aquatic lifestyle. Carnivorous mammals including early members of the carnivora orders such as Meosis, which were the ancestors of modern dogs, 
cats and bears. Early Primates The Eocene saw the emergence of a variety of primates such as Adipus and Notharctus, which lived in forests and adapted to an arboreal lifestyle. Brontotherium Large herbivorous mammals with massive bony growths on their heads, such as Brontotherium. Birds Phororacaceae Large flightless birds of prey such as forest racos, which were one of the dominant land predators. Waterfowl included the ancestors of modern pelicans, ducks and gulls, which inhabited coastal and inland waters. A variety of species of crocodiles, turtles, and snakes continued to thrive during the Eocene, occupying a variety of ecological niches. Frogs and salamanders remained an important part of ecosystems, living in forests and water bodies. The Eocene seas were rich in a variety of fish species, including sharks such as carcarocles, the early ancestors of megalodons. The Eocene was a time of active evolution for many groups of animals, which laid the groundwork for even greater diversity in subsequent eras such as the Oligocene and Miocene. The Oligocene period was a time when ecosystems continued to evolve after significant diversification in the Eocene. During this period, there was a decrease in temperatures on the planet, which led to changes in vegetation and animal migrations. The dominant species of the Oligocene era included various groups of mammals, also some representatives of other classes. Endricotherium Huge herbivorous mammals that reached heights of up to 16 feet and lived on open plains. Anthracotheriidae, semi-aquatic herbivores, ancestors of modern hippopotamuses. These mammals occupied the niches of large herbivores in Oligocene ecosystems. Carnivorous mammals Creodonta and early Carnivora. Large predators, representatives of the Hyenodontidae group with powerful jaws and teeth. Andrew's Arch One of the largest terrestrial predators, possibly with a scavenger lifestyle. These predators remained supreme in their ecosystems, preying on large herbivores. Parapithecus Early representatives of the Old World monkeys, ancestors of modern marmosets and apes. Apidium primates that lived in the forests of North Africa. These creatures continue to evolve, occupying niches in forest ecosystems. Diatrama. Large birds of prey, similar to Gastornis, but possibly living in America. These birds were apex predators in their ecosystems, feeding on small mammals and other animals. Paleocles early turtles that lived on both land and water. Primitive crocodiles continued to exist, living both on land and in water. These reptiles remained important components of aquatic and semi-aquatic ecosystems. Basilosaurus. Large cetaceans, fully adapted to marine life. Dorodon, smaller ancestors of modern whales and dolphins. These marine mammals occupied the niches of large marine predators, feeding on fish and squid. Megalodon Shark Odotus obliquus The ancestor of Megalodon, a large predatory shark that dominated marine ecosystems. The shark was one of the apex predators in the oceans, preying on fish and other marine animals. During the Oligocene era, a variety of insects such as ants, beetles, bees and butterflies continued to flourish. Insects played an important role in plant pollination and were important components of food chains. The Oligocene period was a time of further evolutionary diversification of mammals and other animal groups. Mammals, birds and marine animals dominated ecosystems and their diversity and adaptability allowed them to successfully adapt to changing environmental conditions.
The Miocene epoch, which lasted 18 million years, was a time of significant climatic changes and evolutionary transformations. During this period, the climate cooled, which led to the expansion of savannas and forests, as well as the development of many new animal species. Saber-toothed cats Smilodon and Macaridus These large predators had long fangs and were one of the dominant land predators. The bears Early members of the genus Ursus that began to evolve during this period. Hyenas A group of predators that specialized in carrion, such as Pachycracuta. Early hominids Proconsul and Dryopithecus Early primates that are the ancestors of modern apes and humans. Paraceratheria Large hornless rhinoceroses such as Indracotherium, also known as Paraceratherium, which were among the largest land mammals of all time, reaching heights of up to 16 feet at the shoulder. Horses Merichippus The Miocene saw significant development of horses, which began to acquire features characteristic of modern species. Bovids Early members of the family that includes modern antelopes, goats, and cows. Megalodon One of the largest species of predatory sharks, reaching lengths of up to 60 feet. Whales Cytotherium The development of baleen and toothed whales, which began to occupy various ecological niches in the oceans. Giant birds of prey Forest racity Terrible birds Large flightless birds of prey that were one of the dominant land predators in South America. Waterfowl and coastal birds Including early representatives of pelicans, gulls and other coastal species. Reptiles and amphibians Crocodiles Various species of crocodiles and alligators continue to thrive during the Miocene. Snakes and lizards continue to evolve and occupy diverse ecological niches. The Miocene was a time of active evolution and adaptation of animals to changing climate conditions, laying the foundation for modern ecosystems and the animals we see today. Thank you for watching this episode to the end. Give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also press the bell so you don't miss new and interesting videos from the Real Unreal channel.